My name is Mike Trainer. I'm performing here at Station 4 tonight uh, with Steve Hofstetter. It's a nice uh, venue, a little different than where we normally do comedy. Uh, normally comedy clubs, colleges, not a lot of rock venues. It's cool though. There's a, someone wrote on the wall back there, legalized murder. So this is a different type of venue than I'm used to performing in. So I didn't know St. Paul was that edgy. Legalized murder, that's aggressive. Uh, my onstage character is basically, uh, it's, it's based on me with a little more me. It's, it's I mean, there's no, uh, there's no fakeness to what I do on stage. Um, it's a heightened version of myself. Um, the only difference between me on stage and me off stage is off stage I have insecurities, off stage, um, you know, I can be self-deprecating, I, I can lose off stage, I can fail off stage. On stage I can't. Um, and that's really the only difference. And so I just kind of stripped out the, the losing side of me and, and just went with the winner, and that's me on stage. Stand-up co comedians are you know, pretty funny people generally, but it's really just them capturing their funniest things they've ever said and being like, okay, let me stack these up in order, and now all of a sudden I'm hilarious before I was just like an average funny guy. I think there's a big difference between critics and an audience that's quiet. Um, the vast majority of critics criticize because they don't create. So you can't take that stuff too personally. At the same time, if you get a great review, you can't take that too personally either, because if you hinge your life on that, then you're also hinging your life on when it goes poorly. You have to create your art in the way you create it. A comic will be doing a set, and the whole crowd will be laughing, destroying, and there's one guy in the front row just kind of like, and you spend the whole set being like, what is this guy's problem? Like, you, you don't even look at everyone else. So, uh, you know, comics will pretend they don't care, and then, and then get, be alone. <laughs> Like it's you know you put you really are putting yourself out there. Um, there are a lot of comedians who say, "Oh, the crowds just don't get me." Really, every crowd doesn't get you. Every single crowd just doesn't understand your genius. Um, the crowds might be more perceptive than they give them credit for. Minneapolis has a nice comedy scene. There's a lot of open mics and shows every week. Move to a place where you can get up a lot if you're not there already, and get up a lot, and that's how you do it. And uh, you make connections and. Be professional and treat it like a job, and don't be uh, a slacker about it. A lot of it's amazing. Like just being nice and professional will get you just as far as being funny for a while. Like a lot of comics I know are very funny, but are complete jackasses, and you really can't trust to show up on time or do anything like that. So, yeah, treat it like a job and just do it. Well, sorry, but you guys uh, can't tape a warm up tonight because there there is no warm up. Uh, the way stand up works, you know, we just perform. For me, last night was the warm up for tonight, and the night before that was the warm up for then, and tonight I guess I'm warming up for tomorrow. This is Steve Hofstetter, and you're watching Focus on You. Both of you are, right now.